Buddy Showers and myself we were kind of operated as a water boy and a bat boy. And being a water boy then, you had to run across the street to a house and get a pail of water. And they had a cup, a ladle they dig it out with, you know. So I got every other game, we one would be the water boy and one would be the bat boy. And it was for both teams. It wasn't just for the one. And uh, I look in here and I see these names. Stan Stutusky, pitcher, had a superstition. That them days they laid the, left the gloves in the field. They didn't take him into the dugout. And he was a pitcher. He had a, never stepped on third base line. Always stepped over that. And then he laid a club glove a certain way. Superstitious. In one game, uh, uh, the coach, well, he was the manager for the team. I think it was Jake Pittler. Early in. He walked out from the dugout to the third base coaching box and he kicked the glove, you know. <laughs> well, that was uh, <laughs> that was fireworks there for a while, <laughs> but uh, they got over that. It was, uh, it was quite an experience. In here it says about the Pittsburgh Pirates coming to play the play a game, and I remember that game. And uh, there was two players, brothers, uh, Lloyd and Paul Weiner, I think, big poison and little poison. And uh, one of them broke the bat, broke his bat during during the game. We got it, Buddy and I got it. Well, we had a bat for the summer then. You know, we had electrician's tape around it, and that was our that was our ball bat for the summer. And it was something to be bat boy or water boy for them, you know. Yeah. Tickets sold, or did you just pass the hat around? No, they sold tickets. They had a they had a gate. Of course, most of the young ones from Sour, they come in the lakeside. I mean, they, <laughs> you know, the fence went the fence went behind the grandstand all the way along the road, all the way down to the lake, but. Kind of wade into the lake and come no, out. Oh, it was dry enough. They didn't get around. There. <laughs> and then there was a door that went out to the, went to go out to the house to get the water. And you never closed that. Right. You know, they, they just come in that. When they started out that league, it was going to be uh, composed of, you know, boys and men from the city they were playing for. It was going to be, a, you know, a competition between the cities. The only two that I can remember got on the. I think they have Rabbit Peterson from Faulkner and uh, George Goodell played first base. That was the only <clears> two. <throat> I can remember there was Chuck Taylor. Uh, he, after the war, I think he went into boxing to become a prize fighter and lived down in Pennsylvania somewhere. And uh, they had a baby, Chuck and his wife. And during one night, the baby was fussing and fussing and fussing and they got up and get the baby out of the room and were down in some other room and a hot water tank blew up and ended up in the baby's crib. Oh my God. Oh I mean, it was just a thing that happened, you know? I can remember that. Then there was Eddie Carmichael. He was a he was a kind of a crazy one. Now, it's hard to remember all this stuff. It was 1939. I was 15 years old, so. Uh, Mickey LaLonge. I had a baseball autographed by every player on the team. And a few years ago, I gave it to Hillman Lions, who was running the Jamestown Falcons. So I don't know ever what happened to that. I wish I had it now, because it could go out to Hall of Fame. Out there. Right. But I don't know, I have no idea where it went. Gave Hank Buzzanati was a catcher. Now, I don't know if you know the Southern Ballpark. It was all, the only fence they had was the one that went along the Miniature Railroad in Southern Park. They had a fence there so they couldn't get oh, out to the Minnesota Railroad. And uh, then the, uh, inside the fence was all these big trees. They're, big, they're still there. They're still there. I remember Hank Buzzanati hitting a ball. He was a catcher for the team. Hitting a ball over the center fielder's head and hit the base of one of them trees and come bouncing back right over his head again. And he got inside <laughs> the park home run. I, <laughs> I remember that one. And Stan Satusky, we'd play pepper, you know. Buddy and I would be, he'd be batting the ball. And every time the last one would be like a boom, right in between us, you know. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> that was that end of the pepper every day that we did that. Yeah, you know, the, the, these, like the Satusky and Carmichael and Taylor and Buzzanati and Goodell and oh, Peterson, okay. they, they were okay. part of the nucleus of it, you know. They stayed around. The rest of them were in and out of there. Yeah. But, kind of, what kind of condition was the field in? Oh, geez. Lousy. 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 It was. Uh, I think the whole infield was dirt. You know, there wasn't any 
put any grass anywhere. Yeah. What they tried to get into the ball? I think it was a quarter. Did they get big crowds on? Pardon? Did they get big crowds? It wasn't that. They filled the bleachers up. Who was in the league at that time? Uh, Olean, Bradford, uh, Batavia, Niagara Falls, and I think it was London or London, London, London Ontario. Right. There was a Pony League, Pennsylvania, Ontario, New York. And that, that's the six teams that I can, I think that's all it was, was six teams. Do you remember, they, Bob, there was a locker room there? Or did they no, no, else no, or? no. They, when they left town to go on a game, they had their uniforms on. <laughs> 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 and they showed up at the ballpark. Yeah. Where did the visiting team stay? They were in here for just one game, or did they stay overnight? Uh, uh, there was an old hotel there that had oh, yeah. over... Uh, across the street from my grandmother's house. Yeah. They'd get rooms in there. What was your salary as a bat boy? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> nothing. I didn't get anything. It's a privilege of getting in the game, I guess. Yeah, that's right. Trolley is still running from Jamestown to Cellar again? Uh, they quit in 39. Did yeah. yeah. They quit in 39. Now you were with them one year? Just that, then, just that was it. And then they moved out of town. Then they, they were gone then. Bob, I, I'm still trying to visualize the stadium. That going on. So, yeah. Close your eyes and tell me how how the <coughs> right field. Well, the uh, stadium was sitting. Let's say the lake is. This is a lake. Right. It's cold. You know, the stadium's over here. Okay. This is right field. Okay. And that's where the Minister Railroad and the uh, Greyhound roller coaster went oh, in the yeah. bathhouse. Then it went out around the point here and come down here. And this was left field, and that was uh, probably the longest field, really. That. That yeah. was out there quite a ways. Hit the ball in the lake there, they had to go a little ways. And uh, that's about the way it sat. And I think the grandstand probably was as big as, if you took third baseline, you know, and then around the first baseline, that's about a, as big as stadium. And then it was bleachers running off you know, both uh, both ways. Now there was a fence? And just on the, just where the miniature railroad was. And that would be oh, in right field. Right field, all the way out, all the way out to the lake. All the way out to the lake. You were always hitting towards the lake. Either always, right, right. Ball, center field. Yeah, or either way, it was left field. It must have been left field and been right away. Yeah, was, right. Out by Erickson's boat livery. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Erickson's boat. Yeah. yeah. There was a row of poplar trees out oh, there too. Oh yeah, that uh, was. That yeah, was, that's right, bro. Yeah. Well, left, left field's yeah. not where the apartments are. Right. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> left field. And left field out into center field. I remember field, they were hit the balls over that. <laughs> Over that poplar tree, <laughs> at least I think I remember it. <laughs> <laughs> the last meeting, your father kept that alive. <laughs>